From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Coaches on the sideline or in the press box? That's the question down in Norman, and Ryan Aber joins us on the phone. Ryan, we obviously know about Mike Stoops' pretty high-profile move up to the press box. Lincoln Riley comes in to coordinate the offense, and he's down on the sideline, which is a change from a lot of other offensive coordinators that have handled the Sooners in the past. Why each coach making the decision? Run us through sort of what they're saying at this point after a couple games in those respective spots. Well, I think you got to start with Mike Stoops and his decision to move up to the press box. And uh, looking at some background for this story, I actually read a story that you wrote uh, in 2000 when he moved uh, down to the field after coaching his first season in the press box. Uh, said that he got a better feel for things down in the field, could look guys in the eye. But uh, that could be a problem sometimes, especially when you've got the, uh, the temperament of Mike Stoops, <laughs> for better or worse. Uh, you know, we saw the outburst that he had with Julian Wilson last year in the Baylor game, caught a lot of flack for that. But, but also with the way that they're defending and having to react to these offenses like uh, Baylor's, like Oklahoma's, like the one they're going to face on Saturday at West Virginia, it's, it's important to be able to get the calls down quicker. And for the defense, that works out uh, better from the press box because Mike Stoops can get a very quick read on what he sees out of the offense and can make those calls down there, and they can be relayed quicker. Now, on the offensive side, with what OU wants to do offensively, it's better to have Lincoln Riley on the field. A lot of air raid uh, offensive coordinators coach from the field, and the reason is they, they want to go tempo, they want to speed up the game and get the, uh, the calls in as quickly as possible. And for the offense, that means uh, as soon as they go through Lincoln Riley's head, he can start making those, those signals into the quarterback and the uh, receivers, the linemen, to know exactly what to do. So it, it works out best for this team uh, with the way they've got it with the defense coordinator, Mike Stoops, in the press box, the offensive coordinator, Lincoln Riley, down on the field. You know, Ryan, you bring up a couple good points. And, you know, Mike Stoops talking about uh, back in 2000, the wanting to look players in the eye, something that Lincoln Riley said almost verbatim to you about why he likes being on the sideline. But yet there's sort of that, uh, getting a feel for the game, getting a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, talk, conversation, uh, whatever with your players versus calling the game. It's really kind of the coordinators have to walk in both areas in terms of motivation and, and talking to guys versus actually calling the game. It's kind of a delicate balance. I guess everybody's got to adjust to what makes sense to them. That's got to be part of uh, that, uh, that thought process those guys are going through. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I think Mike Stoops' new role as the outside linebackers coach helps free him up a little bit from that because, really, he's only got two players that he's coaching individually, and that's Eric Stryker and Devontae Bond. So it, it makes him a little bit easier. On the offensive side with Lincoln Riley, he, he's got guys, you know, there's nobody as important to the defense as the quarterback is to the offense, and being able to, to sit down with him, to look him in the eye, to have that conversation with him, and be able to, to read body language and, and things that you just can't do uh, over the headset, I think it is important, especially in an offense that calls uh, for so many quick decisions from the quarterback. Is it safe to say that if college football, well, not if, when, we know that all things are cyclical, when college football maybe moves away from the spread and air raid style that have become really popular now, well, we maybe see this change. I mean, you, you talk about the spread and, and air raid being an offensive coordinator almost has to be on the, on the sideline, but maybe for the defensive coordinator who's handling those offenses, the press box is better. As that transitions, which it ultimately will at some point down the road, could we see maybe a shift again? Uh, you know, is it just a, a situation where now that makes the most sense? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about it. I think uh, that 1990 or the 2000 story I referenced earlier, uh, Mark Mangino told you that uh, these things all move in cycles and he'd probably bounce back and forth a few times during the rest of his career, which has actually proven to be the case mm -hmm. uh, with Mark Mangino. So, yeah, it, it's all uh, all a cyclical thing. And, and I think individual coaches can decide from year to year whether uh, what they're doing makes the most sense well I guess for people that either like or don't like seeing Mike Stoops on the sideline there's a good <laughs> chance he's down there again at some point <laughs> I don't yeah, think I, I'm sure his, his days on the sideline are, are not over 
Definitely not. All right. Good stuff, Ryan. Hey, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman. <laughs>